Hi everybody, Kevin Cage here from Love Hope Charity Faith. Today I'm going to teach you how to add and subtract fractions. Now we all know the common method. If we have one half plus one third, they're going to tell us, well, we have to find the lowest common denominator. And for this it's going to be six. We'll multiply this by two over two and multiply this by three over three. We get three times one is three over six plus one times two is two over three times two is six equals three plus two is five over six. That's the common method. The reason why I'm not spending so much time on that is because a lot of people know how to do it this way. That's correct answer, but there is a better and a faster way that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so let's take the same problem. It's one third plus one half. And instead of doing the lowest common denominator, what we're going to do is the rapid fire method. Okay? What did I just do that for? Why did I just draw an X and a line on the bottom? Well, this is called rapid fire by Mr. Gullah, my high school calculus teacher. Shout out to Mr. Gullah, Hollywood Hills High School. All right, check it out. What you do is this times this plus this times this over this times this. So in our case, it would be one times two. So 1 times 2 plus this times this, 3 times 1 over this times this, 3 times 2. Okay, what does that equal? Two, 1 times 2 is 2 plus 3 times 1 is 3, so it equals 5 over 3 times 2 is 6. Guess what? The same exact answer. It works every single time, rapid fire. It's pretty cool. Okay, it's going to be way, way, way faster. Now, that was an easy problem. You might be saying, well, it seems like it took the same amount of time. Well, what if I have something like 3 sevenths plus 4 twelfths, right? Go ahead and find the lowest common denominator for that in your head if you want to. Um, it comes out to be 84, something similar like that, I'm pretty sure. But the point is, is that you're going to do a lot of thinking. You're going to take a lot of time. It's going to take some effort. Instead of that, you do rapid fire, right? This times this plus this times this over this times this. So ready? 3 times 12, 3 times 12 plus 7 times 4, 7 times 4 over 7 times 12, 7 times 12. Okay, 3 times 12 is 36 plus 7 times 4 is 28 over 7 times 12 is 84. What do we get? We get 36 plus 28 is 64 over 84. Now fortunately those can all, this can be simplified, divide both of them by three, 4, and what we get is 16 over 21. 16 over 21 is our final answer. Okay, so you can see, maybe you can see that this is a little bit faster than doing it the other way. Because what I would have had to do is I would have had to multiply this by 7, and this by 7, and then this by 12, and then this by 12, and then add them both together. You're really doing the same exact thing for all you smart mathematician minds out there that can see it. You're doing the same exact thing, except you're making it more simple to understand. You can do it every single time this way. Okay. So, <clears throat> for those of you that are a little bit more advanced with fractions, say I want to do it with algebraic fractions. Oh, you know what? I'll cover that in a second. What if we want to do subtraction, right? 3 fifths minus 2 thirds, okay? Same thing, except you do this times this minus this times this over this times this. So, it comes out to be 3 times 3 is 9 minus 5 times 2 is 10 over 5 times 3 is 15. So what we get is negative 1 over 15. See how quick that was? Okay, maybe now you're believing me that this is way faster. Now you might say, okay, well I'm confused a little bit. <clears throat> how do I know which is minus and which is plus? How do I know what to do? Well, it's pretty easy. You just look at the signs, right? This is positive, right? Well, guess what? That's positive as well. This is negative. 
Guess what? That's negative as well. Follow the signs. Positive, positive, negative, negative. It will work every single time for you. Okay? Hopefully you understand that. If not, leave a comment. I will be glad to do another video and explain it further. But let me move on to algebraic fractions. Say we have x over x plus y minus y over x squared. Now, for those of you that are not in algebra yet, you can turn the video off. I hope you like it. Enjoy it. For those of you that are in algebra right now, you might have seen something like this and it might be really confusing for you how to solve this problem because you can't find the lowest common denominator. It just doesn't make sense here, right? Okay, check it out. Same thing. Rapid fire. Boom, boom, boom. Ready? x times x squared is x to the third, x cubed, minus, remember, minus, minus, x plus y times y all over this times this, x plus y times x squared. Okay, you can go ahead and simplify this, um, make it a little bit better. It's probably not going to clean up since I just made that problem out of my head. But the point is, you can see, hey, this confusing problem that you really didn't know how to do turned into something very, very simple. You can do some simplification. It'll all work out very, very nicely, and every single time it's going to be correct. I hope this helped you out. I hope that this helped at least one person understand how to add and subtract fractions, especially and even algebraic fractions, which sometimes can be confusing. That's what I make these videos for. Lots of love. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have had a very, very good day. I hope you continue to have one. And peace.